In lesson two then, on the Poisson, we're looking at modelling with the Poisson distribution. So first of all, useful just to um, be familiar with the kind of, uh, the kind of um, situation a Poisson distribution is uh, appropriate for. So uh, a few examples, so the number of radioactive particles being emitted by a certain source in a five minute period number of telephone calls to a switchboard in a 10 minute interval, number of spelling mistakes on a page of a newspaper, number of cars passing the front of a school in a three minute interval, and the number of raisins in a fruit scone. So notice that when we're defining a Poisson, um, we generally have a particular interval of time that we're referring to. Um, we have a, a constant average rate, which is lambda for that particular time period, or it might be a period in space. Uh, so like the page on a newspaper or uh, in a physical space, like the, uh, in a fruit scone. Just like with the binomial distribution, there are certain assumptions and conditions that must apply for a Poisson to be applicable, and the two popular ones that we need to uh, refer to in context are independence, and uh, the second one, they occur at a constant average rate, initials C A R car, constant average rate. Okay, uh, also they occur singly and at random, but generally it's independence and constant average rate in the context of the question that we refer to. If you're ever asked to explain what events occurring at random means, then it simply means that they don't follow any sort of fixed pattern. So the occurrence of the events uh, do not occur in a set pattern that's cropped up once or twice before and uh, in an exam situation. Just like with the binomial, always make assumptions in context. So when tackling Poisson questions, always take care to look carefully at the time period, the lambda value given, and the time period for the question, and make sure you adjust lambda accordingly. So here it's 15 per hour. We're looking at a 20 minute period. So therefore, uh, we set up a Poisson distribution with a lambda value of five. And then to work out exactly four calls, we can use our formula or calculator, to work out our answer, more than eight calls. Um, again, you can use uh, rearranging and using the tables or most easily you can just use your calculator to work out the, the probability. But the idea here is just looking out for and making sure you've got the right lambda value uh, for the right interval of time. And similarly for part B. So we've got this time a 30 minute interval. Uh, so therefore, Y has a Poisson distribution with a lambda value of 7.5. And then using our calculator, or otherwise we can work out our probabilities um, for at least six and no more than 10. Uh, be careful with your inequalities, make sure that you um, read this carefully and you pick the right inequality to match the wording. For example two, another question in context, this time about supermarket queues. Again, check carefully the time period. So um, 1 p.m. to 1.05 p.m. And um, we've got a lambda value of three per minute. So therefore here, X follows a Poisson distribution with a lambda value of 15. And then we want to work out probability of exactly 10 customers arriving. So exactly 10, use the formula or your calculator. 